Good field in Detroit. It's week one of the NFL on EA Sports. We'll see Jared Goff and the Detroit Lions taking on Jalen Hurts and the Philadelphia Eagles. Coming to you from the venue that hosted the Super Bowl back in February of 06, welcome to Ford Field in downtown Detroit. Today, it's the opener of a new NFL season between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Detroit Lions. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and we have arrived at the start of another NFL season, the most exciting time of the year. And CD, both of these storied teams we're about to see try to take a step forward this year. Philadelphia, a lot of optimism there that they can get in the postseason and make some noise. Detroit, of course, we know the story of their franchise. They're just trying to get out of that NFC North basement. But one thing I know about you, partner, you're extremely empathetic, and you do feel for those Lions fans because they have not had a postseason win to celebrate since 1991. They are excited about the direction the franchise is headed, though. They thought they had a good draft, they loved their front office, and they really liked their head coach. As for Philadelphia, they made some moves during the draft and in free agency that put them squarely in a position to compete not just for a playoff spot, but to go deep on a good run. Get strapped in. It's just about time to get the party started. And we are underway from Ford Field. And no run back on this one. So the new season will begin at the 25-yard line. Now, for the first time, we get to see this Philadelphia offense led out by their dual-threat quarterback now in his third season, Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts got the green light as a starter from the Philly organization and took really good steps as the next in line of mobile quarterbacks in the city following names like Michael Vick, Donovan McNabb, and Randall Cunningham. He led the team in all quarterbacks in the NFL in rushing, and he took Philadelphia to the postseason while throwing for over 3,000 yards. And he is going to lose yardage here. It'll go as a loss of a yard on the game's first play. Second down. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. They'll go again with Sanders. Takes this to the 27, give him four yards. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. That swung out wide to Sanders. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. So on fourth down, kicking it away here, Michael Pilardi. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And the Lions will take over. Detroit gets set to go on offense, and it will be the seventh-year pro out of Cal, Jared Goff, leading the attack in his second season as a Lion. Certainly a different set of circumstances awaited Jared Goff in Detroit last season after his trade from Los Angeles. He made what he could out of them and managed three wins on a rebuilding Lions team. They should improve this year behind Goff after an offseason where they make considerable investments in order to try and improve this ball club. And he edges forward, but only gets a pair of yards out of it. It's second down. A play fake for Swift. Now Goff. He's airing it out for Williams. And that will be incomplete. 
Tried to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. Throwing on third, Goff. He's airing it out for Williams. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Jack Fox out to punt here on fourth down. Christian Kirk deep to return it. That'll be a 43-yard punt, just a single yard on the return. And it will be Eagles football first and 10. So back onto the field, here come the Eagles for their second drive. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? Looking to throw again on second down. Hurts. Over the middle, complete. That's Sanders. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. On first and 10, it's Sanders. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. No score after one on EA Sports. A good down to possibly take a shot, and in fact, they'll come up with an empty backfield on second and inches. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. The decision to keep it turns out to be a good one. 11 yards in the first down. How about that there? No frills, no additives, right? Nothing crazy. Just find a way to pick up the first down. A nice run right there. So first and 10 now from the 30. Throwing his hurts. He finds his tight end, Goddard. That's complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Hurt's going to take this himself. And they'll get him down right around the 16. Two yards the gain on the keeper, and it's second down. Here's Hurts to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Smith. And the Eagles are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, you just need the tip of the ball to cross the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. Okay, ready? Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. Here we go now on first and goal. They'll run with Sanders. And he's in for an Eagles touchdown. Miles Sanders. His first rushing touchdown on the year. And the Eagles post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. So they brought the extra bulk in down on the one yard line and they're able to push this one across. Yeah, I can just see your face right now because I know we're mind melding on this one. Coach Madden would love this. Power football, hat on a hat, chest to chest, driving forward, touchdown. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. And he's one for one on the new year as his kick is good. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it was Miles Sanders who finished it off with a touchdown run.
Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. We'll remind you that coming up tonight, the first Sunday nighter of the new season. And how about this for a matchup? The Buccaneers and the Cowboys from Dallas, 820 Eastern. Then tomorrow, Monday night, just one game here in week one this year. And it'll pit the Broncos and Seahawks as Russell Wilson makes his Bronco debut. And of course, where is it? Seattle. Coincidence? We'll let you decide. The Lions need to move. They're hustling to the line now. They'll fake the give. Now Goff. And that's to Amon Ross St. Brown. Goff to St. Brown for the Detroit first down. And they're trying to line up quickly here. Goff urging them on. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. A good pick up there, 21 yards. Having someone like TJ Hawkinson as your starting tight end makes you feel good as an organization because he finds ways to get open and gives his quarterback a reliable safety net over the middle or even to the edges. Case in point there, that play for a first down. Throwing again is gone. That throw taken in by Jamison Williams. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. On first down, gone. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And his guys will take over at their own 44-yard line. The defense, they were swarming that time and ultimately got to him before he could get rid of the football and knocked it free. And don't you feel just a little bit of sympathy for him back there, though? So much going on, so much swirling around. He's trying to find someone downfield. He's trying to move around to find an open target. Sometimes you forget the number one thing take care of the football they've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their own 44 from the gun it's hurts complete smith has it and he'll work it across midfield inside the 45 the eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one on first and ten, it's Hurts. And his throw's going to be incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Hurts. Skirts by him at the 35. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Hurts sets up to throw it. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. 23 yards on the tuck and run. No shortage of impressive moments from him thus far. Now he's halfway to the century mark, and we're still in the first half. There's been no answer for his running ability so far by the defense. I can't wait to see what adjustments they'll have to make during the halftime break. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Throw right side, caught by Goddard, the tight end. And he's able to get this down to the five-yard line before he's out of bounds. From the five, here's second and two. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Forced out to his left. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Jalen Hurts.
in the final seconds of the first half. And the Eagles would extend their lead here just before halftime. So a good start to the campaign so far for them here in week one. Yeah, all the things that you dreamed about in April and May and that you worked on in July and August, getting ready for this game, it's all coming together so far. Elliott now to add the extra point. And it's good to make it 14-0. So the drive there took six plays. And it's finished off with a five-yard touchdown run. So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. He'll take the knee in the final couple seconds. will tick by in this first half. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend as we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome back to football, everybody. We've got a full slate of 16 games here to start the new season. So let's take our first trip around the NFL. We'll begin with a look at the AFC South. Houston at home taking on Indianapolis. And they are seconds away from halftime, all tied in that one. From there, we head down to sunny Miami to check on the Dolphins at home at Hard Rock Stadium. And they have the lead in that one over the visiting New England Patriots. Two touchdown passes there for Teddy Ballgame. Finally, we finish at MetLife Stadium to see what's going on with the Jets. And at this point, they trail the visiting Baltimore Ravens. Devin Duvernay, a touchdown reception. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a back-and-forth first half. Who can put it together in the second half? For the answer, we turn it back over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. And the Lions getting set to go on offense to start the third. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. And they've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. Second and 10, third quarter of the season opener. Goff now looks to throw. He gets this complete to Cephas. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Now it's golf. A bullet throw, but incomplete. Here comes the Lions punter now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. 46 on his first kick, this one in that neighborhood as well. On the return is Kirk. A pretty good punt there, but also a nice return of 12 yards. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. So here are the Eagles now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10, just shy of the 30. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it and picking up a first down. 
Well, this has certainly turned into a showcase game for what he can do on the ground because they're just continuing to give him chances to run it, and he's earning every additional carry by putting up positive yardage on each run. Hurts a handoff to Sanders. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of four on the first down play. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. They'll have to deal with a second and 14 now after the loss. Back to throw here. Over the middle to Smith. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. Trying to set up the screen, and it's intercepted. And they'll start with great field position at the 41-yard line. And Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively of getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring out, okay, where is he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. So here come the Lions now. And really, Charles, not much of a surprise that they're losing. They just haven't been able to get much of anything going in the pass game. And as you well know, in today's NFL, if the passing game isn't working, usually not much else is working either. You're exactly right about that, partner. And I know that right now the easy answer would be, hey, let's run the football. But that might not be everything you need. So despite the fact that they've struggled throwing it, they've got to find some type of a play, multiple plays, that puts the ball in the air and allows for them to have some success. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Go off a handoff here to Swift. And he'll be stopped after a gain of only a couple down to the 15-yard line. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Throwing on second and eight, Goff. And time finally runs out. He can't get rid of the football, and he's taken down. Josh Sweat rushing in and bringing him down to the ground. I remember throughout my career here in defensive coaches always say, guys, you've got to earn the right to rush the passer. Well, they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead, and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivating. It is pin your ears back time indeed. So now following the sack, Goff and the Lions needing to come up with something here on third and long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Keeps himself upright. Trying to improvise. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And in for the Lions, touchdown. Quintez Cephas, 28 yards. And the Lions are finally on the board here in the fourth quarter. Okay, the highlights are going to show the guy throwing it, the guy catching it, and ended up in the end zone. But how about those big guys up front that allowed that to happen? He had a ton of time to throw the ball. He did. There's two sides to that coin, though. The O-line was great, D-line not very good. And as well as coverage, because now you're really stuck in a bad spot. That much time to throw the ball, someone usually comes free. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. And this taken in at the goal line. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. 
Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. They've been asleep for a little while on this side of the football, Charles, and the score is just a one-score game now. Haven't had any points this half. What gives? Let's go old school here. All right, let's get back to the basics. Get back to running the football. High percentage throws. Find the guys that eat pressure and make plays for you and make sure they touch it. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. Well, how about this aggressive approach? Got the lead, fourth quarter, continuing to throw the football. Are you thinking about Super Bowl 51? <laughs> Atlanta had the lead against New England, and just, they ended up giving it up. I was going to say, don't say it, but you did say it. it I did, didn't I? Yeah, anybody watching Atlanta, right. our apologies. Just week one, but already plenty of intrigue with the games going on, and this one no different as we come up on a first and ten. Now back to throw. Sanders has it over the middle. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Up the middle they go with Sanders. He'll work his way up the middle for a gain of about four, second down. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Another run with Sanders. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. I see an extra defensive back on the field. Little surprise here on third and one. They'll try and run for it with Sanders. And he'll take this forward for two, maybe three. But we do have a flag down, and they're already marching backward. They'll need to get this to the 38. That's where the first down marker is here on third. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And this one complete to Smith. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Okay, break. And they take a knee. Now second and 11 from the 32. They run with Sanders off the option. Oh, no, he lost the football. And the Lions have recovered. So the penalty on the offense, that'll be declined, and the turnover stands. Goff. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. Launches deep, a jump ball, and this is caught. First down now, but that clock rolling. Goff now to throw. Open man, he's got him, the tight end, Hawkinson. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and it's second down. One last throw here for Goff. Going back to the same well, it's Hawkinson again. And the Lions are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. Well, CD, always a little extra excitement for week one, and one of our early window games here in week one on a Sunday comes to a close. Good to be back in the booth with you, my friend. And it's good to be back in the booth with you as well. And we know that not everyone's going to start the season 1-0, and right? Half the league is going to have a loss on their record but everyone's going to have to build off of that opener. And how many coaches tell us every single year, you make your most progress between week one and week two. We'll see how both of these teams progress the rest of this season. So for the Eagles, it was a hard-fought game, and they'll exit 1-0 and as they win by a touchdown. And they will head home next week to take on the Minnesota Vikings. Meanwhile, for Detroit, they go down to defeat here in the opener. And they will be back home next week for a date with Washington.
So for our entire crew, alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.